This week we've been giving you the first alert to spring tides. These could cause some minor flooding for parts of the Grand Strand, but what makes them different from king tides? Our meteorologist Matt Bullock explains. Spring tides and king tides are very similar, but there are some differences and explain the differences. We got to start with the basics. What creates tides? So we have Earth covered 70% of water and the moon and with the moon's gravitational pull, that's what creates the high tides and you pretty much get high tides on two sides of the Earth and low tides on the other two sides. So as the moon orbits around the Earth, that's the reason why we have two high tides and two low tides every single day. But there are some factors that can affect the high tides, such as moon phases. And explaining that with a full moon or a new moon, pretty much the sun is aligned with Earth and the moon, which gives a more stronger gravitational pull. When that happens, it brings a higher than normal high tides. We call these spring tides, while during a first quarter moon or a last quarter moon, there's less gravitational pull from the moon, meaning the high tides really aren't that high. It's actually lower than normal. We call those neap tides. So explaining it one more time, neap tides, because of the half moon and last moon, high tides are lower than normal, low tides are higher than normal, while spring tides during a full moon or new moon, since it's aligned with the sun, and the Earth and the Moon, they're all aligned together. There's a stronger gravitational pull, which means high tides are higher than normal and low tides are lower than normal. But there's other factors that can affect tidal heights, such as the Moon's proximity to Earth can affect the tide heights. Kind of explaining that, as we look at the Moon's orbit, it's not a perfect circle. You can see one side's a little bit closer, another side's a little bit further, and we call this apogee. And that's when the moon is the farthest away from Earth in orbit. And this will bring lower than, lower than normal high tides. But as the moon orbits around the Earth, it gets a little bit closer. We call this a perigee. And this is when the moon is the closest to Earth in orbit. This will bring higher than normal tides. So explain the difference when the moon's orbiting, not a perfect circle. If it's farther away from Earth, we call this an apogee meaning it's farther away from Earth. This will bring lower than normal high tides, while perigee, if it's closer to Earth, there's more forces on the gravitational pull from the moon. This will bring higher than normal high tides. So putting this all together, we talked about spring tides because of the full moon or new moon, this will bring higher than normal tides. But in the moon's orbit, if it's close to Earth, we call this a perigee, which will also bring higher than normal tides. And you, if you put those two together, you're going to get king tides. So basically, king tides are spring tides, but during a perigee, meaning when the orbit is closest to Earth. And again, this really doesn't happen that much. King tides happen about twice a year, while spring tides occur twice a month. And we do have spring tides coming back this week and looking at the forecast close to about seven feet. So we might see some minor coastal flooding in those flood prone areas near Garden City and into Cherry Grove. But our WMBF First Lord Weather Team will continue to keep updated with the latest details. But in studio, Matt Bullock, WMBF News.